What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. In today's video, I'm gonna answer David Pittman's question who asks, could I make a video showing some common hand signals in regards to air pressure? And he specifically asked for PSI and BAR. And one thing that I'll state is, these hand signals that I'm gonna show you will work with both PSI and BAR. It doesn't matter if you're a recreational or a technical diver. However, I will state that my way may be a little bit different than your way, but at the end of the video, I will show you a universal method to communicate your air pressure to your your buddy so that there's absolutely no confusion or misinterpretation. So real quickly, I want to count zero to 10 using hand signals, and then I'll put it into a practical application and show you how to say how much air pressure you got to your buddy. So zero to 10 looks like this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So zero to five is gonna be a vertical position, six to 10 is gonna be a horizontal position. Once again, it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and of course, 10. Now, putting that into a practical application, let's say that I've got a high pressure cylinder that was pressurized to say 3442 or even 3500 PSI, and I've breathed it down to say 3270 PSI. The way I would represent that is simply as three, two, seven, zero. If you was working in bar, let's say you had a pressure of 140 bar, you'd simply say one, four, zero. And this is an easy and common way to do it, both if you're recreational or technical, or maybe you like the metric over the imperial system, it will work either way. Now, one thing that I should state is your pre-dive safety briefing is so important since we all have different hand signals. During that briefing is when you should discuss with your buddy how you're going to signal air pressure to him and vice versa. Since we all learn different, the pre-dive safety briefing will take out all that confusion. Now, let me show you another method that is universal. It works regardless of what language you speak, depending on what type of hand signals you use. A universal method that works for all divers is simply to show the pressure gauge. So when my buddy swims up and says, hey, how much air pressure you got? I'm going to simply verify my pressure by looking at my gauge, and then I'm going to actually show him the gauge as well. And there's absolutely no misinterpretation or no confusion as far as how much air pressure I have. So guys, if you want to use my method, it's simply zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or the simple universal method of simply showing your gauges. But David, that was a great question. I hope I answered your question. If you got any more, simply put it down in the comment section below. Guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. If your buddy has a little bit of difficulty of communicating with you underwater, simply share this video with him. I really appreciate you watching this video, guys. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.